YouTube, this is Hildron101010 from the Computer Clan on thecomputerclan.com on a Skype call with Google Cat. Hello. Hey. Yeah, we thought it would be a cool idea to kind of do this video, which basically we're not even sure if anything good is going to, you know, work with it. We're just, we just have this iMac G3 here, and we're going to use the terminal to delete some very important system files like the bootloader <laughs> and... Maybe the private folder where the variable folder is, or maybe the mock kernel. I mean, that's the kernel for everything. So we're going to try a few of those things and see what we can get done here. And I have the G3 hooked up to this monitor so there's no flickering. I will turn this on now. Okay, let's take a look here. I believe we're in the root right now. Yes, we got a, a thing called mock here, which is the kernel. Oh, and there's mock uh, underscore kernel as well. That's probably it. And uh, what's the command to remove the file? Is it rm dash f? Um. That's what I thought. I think it's rm dash rf. Okay, yeah, rm dash rf slash mock kernel. Ah, oh, read only file system. All right, we're logged into OS X. I believe Panther is installed on this G3 computer. And let's try changing some things. Yes, the clock is off because it's, like, never hooked up to the Internet. Okay, go to the Finder. And I don't remember the command exactly to show hidden files. All right, so defaults. Right com.apple.finder apple show all files true and then we'll do a semicolon kill all finder and hopefully if I spelt everything right it will work oh I put in kill all funder eh. <laughs> that'll cause a problem that's not gonna work too well nope. <laughs> but I typed in finder and now it's showing the hidden files so I should be able to go to the root so let me uh, do that And we got the files. So let's see if we can change the permissions for any of these. CHMOD777. Say what? CHMOD777. That changes the permissions. CH1777. What is that, a terminal command or what? Yeah, it's a terminal command. Well, what I'm doing here is I'm actually in the... Um, the inspector or like the get info panel and I yeah that works too yeah I'm setting it to read and write and I'll do that for let's do the private folder open the get info panel and go to details unlock it and it's already unlocked set it to my username and read and write it should stay this way for single user mode I'm not sure but um we might not even need to use that if we can just do it from the terminal here because the system should work while we're logged into it, but then when we reboot, we're probably, you know, <laughs> you know, screwed. <laughs> so, sudo rm-rf, and then we'll just drag the file in here so it can autocomplete the directory, and enter. Warning. Yes, I'd like to continue. Oh, I forgot my password. What's my password? Oh, you can't be serious. Well, I don't remember my password, unless that was it. It was nothing. Maybe it was. I have no idea, actually. Now that I think about That's it. That's not good. No, but, you know, I tried doing it again, and it was fine. It didn't, like, prompt me for a password. Let me try doing it with the private folder. So, sudo rm rf, and then we'll put this folder in here. And we'll do enter. All right, it's loading a little bit. Oh, and it, it did it. I mean, it didn't say anything else. Let's, uh... Go into single user mode and see if this thing even starts up. We'll make some more changes from there if we have to, because I memorize the directories by just by heart. And if not, I can use the ls command and find anything I need. I mean, I don't know. It didn't give me an error. It didn't prompt me for a password the second time, so it looks like it deleted the file. But it could have just been saying that, so it would like trick you into thinking it got deleted. Because it really doesn't want that kind of stuff deleted. But right now we're hanging at the Apple screen here. The loading thing isn't coming up. The super u the not super user the single user thing isn't coming up. So I think we totally fudged it up. 
Yeah, that's uh, funny. We did delete the kernel when you think <laughs> about it. <laughs> um, we're back with a fresh install, well, technically an archive install, of Panther. So we're going to try deleting some different key system files that might cause a few more satisfying errors, let's just say. Yay! Yeah. So you recommend doing our original idea, deleting maybe the private folder or something? Yeah, we'll do that see. first. We'll see what happens. All right, here we are. It is loading all the doodads. Okay, we're logged in. All right, let's just verify we're in the right directory. Yes, okay, so we got the var thing there. I think that's an alias. Um, yeah, I don't know about deleting the private folder. I think I know what happens when we do that. Let's try deleting the variable folder. Hmm. Because, you know, something like that happened to DG Pro with the whole private folder thing, and I don't know what exactly happened, but that was on a different operating system. But let's try deleting var. So we'll do sudo rm-rf slash var. Oh, that's right. Read only file system. We got changed the permissions. All right. <laughs> let's do that now. So let's go to the main disk and change the permissions. Oh, got to make the hidden file thing show up again. So let's go to utilities. All right, yes, it's default, defaults, right, com dot, this keyboard sucks, apple dot finder. That's apple. actually what you type? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> Reset the finder. Okay, now we should get all the hidden files. Let's go back to the main disk, or the root. And we'll select the var folder, and which is actually an alias, we all know, because, well, for those who know macOS, that's what it is. So we'll go to this. It's inside the private directory, so we'll probably just delete it that way, slash private, slash var, after we change the permissions here. So we'll go to ownership and details. I said it like that on purpose because I hate it when people say it like that. <laughs> We'll go to my username and read and write. All right, so let's reboot the system now. Back into single user mode just to be more satisfying with the results because sometimes deleting the files while you're booted into the system doesn't always really do it. <laughs> so you want to do it while you're booted into the system without a shell. There we go. All right, so I don't know if I need to type sudo, but I'm typing it anyway. sudo rm-rf slash private slash var but I typed you said F, F. alright but I typed M alright now we're doing this read only file system yeah I guess I can't change permissions from the system then alright so what's the command to do it from command line chmod 777 All space one word? between them no oh. chmod space 777 and then space the directory yes Read only file system. Dang nabbit! Okay, so we're booted back into Windows. I mean OS X. <laughs> I, I, I did that on purpose. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's open up the var thing in the get info panel and see if we can change all of these. Apply to enclosed items. I'll unlock this. Read and write, read and write. Everyone should be able to read and write just everything. Pseudo rm rf slash private slash bar. All right, so now I did that. sudo rm-rf slash private slash var and no errors. So let's reboot and see what happens. Yay! The folder still showed up in the finder, but so did the mock microkernel file before. And it obviously did something when we deleted it because the system didn't boot at all. It just showed the Apple logo, which is... Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind staring at that all day. Yeah, but... no, I mean, you can get so much done. You can learn what apples are shaped like. And... Oh, it brought us back to the intro video. Um, hey, so that did do something. I, f I just remembered. The variable folder really isn't critical to the system starting up. It's just what holds, I think, a lot of settings for the system. So Ew. I basically just set it back to the beginning. But all the files are still on there. So I That's gotta... kind of useful. <laughs> that actually can be. So, yeah, I gotta put into my information again, so I'll just make up a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we're booting back into OS X here, so yeah, deleting the virus folder actually did do something, but it wasn't critical enough to cause a system failure. 
So we are going to move to plan. I think this is now like plan X because <laughs> we, we have never done this before. So this is what's making it fun. And you get to watch us screw up and you get to see what happens when you delete the kernel on your system. So let's reopen the terminal and give this computer a terminal illness. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that was terrible. So we're going to go back to the root. Go back to, we're going to go to the system folder and oh what's well, something we should probably delete delete the kernel no nah, we already know what that does i believe in core services that's where the bootloader is stored so we're gonna do that boot x this is the file i believe for the bootloader so we'll go to ownership and permissions details unlock john because that's just a random name i typed in read and write i'll just set it to everything Read and write, read and write, read and write. Completely unlocked. And save the changes for that. So we'll go to sudo rm-rf. And we will just plop the file in here so it auto-completes the directory. And we will press enter and initialize the password, yada, yada, yada. The file is now deleted. Even though it looks like it's here, it still says it was deleted. So we will now uh, reset the system. I believe that was the wrong command to redo it from the terminal, but so I won't even try anymore. I'll just do it like this. And we'll see what happens now. Hopefully something satisfying. Okay. So, ooh, that was a weird blink. Ha! Huh? Blinking question mark of doom. Really? Yeah, we got the blinking question mark. Yeah. So that is what happens when you delete the boot X file, in case you are still wondering that. <laughs> so this is what we did today. Three big things. We deleted the, what, did we delete the whole private folder, was it? Private folder and the kernel. And the kernel at the same time. So I'm not sure what did what because we did them at the same time. And that caused the Apple logo to show up and nothing else to happen. We deleted the VARS folder, or the VAR folder, excuse me, which I believe is the variable folder. And that basically trick the system thinking you just did a fresh install even though you didn't and we deleted the boot x file which i think is the bootloader which gives you the blinking question mark of doom so if you want to have some fun and intentionally destroy your computer for no real reason these are just test machines so i do it for fun those are some things you can do i hope you learn something really educational today and make use of it in the future Thanks for listening or watching or whatever you're doing. You probably just have this video sitting in the background while you're doing something else and you have no idea what we just did. Maybe not. All right. Uh, anything else you want to say, Kugo? Nope. All right. Sounds good. That was a lot of fun, and we'll see you in the next video.